Here we have a 2011 Mini Cooper S, all four countrymen in white with black wheels and matching roof and wing mirrors. Quite a few optional extras in here, so let's take a look around. Five door as you can see. No dings or dents down the side there, and all nice and straight. Those are 18 inch wheels with run flats. Just see there, run flat. And around here you can see the treads pretty good. Around the back here, parking sensors you can see. I'll just open the boot so you can see inside. It's inside a boot there. I'll just lift this up so you can see in there. Quite a deep section there. A flat load, a flat load liner in there with a parcel shelf. Pop that back, back down, all nice and tidy where you normally get loads of scratches. There aren't any across there. Go to this side. Again, if you can see, there you go. Nice, clean, tidy wheels. So you can see inside the back seats. Rear seats. No horrible marks on the leather. All pretty good all across. Carpets, no horrible marks on there either. Backs of the seats are all good. No scuffs. She's got the piano black interior, which is quite pretty on the doors show you on this door. There you go. Let's take a look at the front. Here we go. So that there is the front passenger seat. Here is the front driver seat. This is the bolster that usually gets marked. It's all clear, good to go. We'll just pop in and start her up. Got a tire pressure warning light on, but we'll take care of that. Yeah, that's just showing you she's got the tire pressure warning light on. I'll just go up to there, so it's okay, we know about that. There's your sat nav, etc. If I come down here, she's talking to me now, telling me how to get to my yard, so. These are all the controls in here. So in here you've got your sat nav and your CD disc, etc. Your air conditioning, if you put it on auto, you can see here your aircon's come on. I don't know if you can hear the fan speed. Just turn the fan down so we don't have the noise. Down here you've got your windows. If I push that down, you can see the windows going up and down on the passenger side there. This is driver side. These two are front and rear fog lights and this is your door locking. Whole load more controls down here for your um, fog lights, etc. This is your auto stop start, so that will be activated um, automatically when you turn the engine on. The default setting is on and that's for when you're queuing in traffic, your killer engine to save you fuel, etc. You've got sports mode, that's your stability control. Good few choices there, coming over here. These are the buttons for your, that's your home button for your um, control center up on the dash. So now you can see I've put it up to that and I'll just move it around. So you've got your telephone with your Bluetooth, your radio, your multimedia and your CD, etc. Just settings, vehicle information, mini connected, your office and your navigation, which we were on. Coming over here, you can see we've got the tire pressure warning light on. We'll sort that out. Uh, 27,526 miles so she's only just arrived with us over here you've got glove box and I've just taken out the book pack so in here she's got full book pack we've got the service record in the office 
So here she's got all her marketing stuff, etc. that came with her. So that's all complete. I'll leave that in there. There we go. Uh, not due a service yet. I'll show you here. We've got two keys, so there's one and there's the other. It's a stop start, so I'm just going to push that to stop the engine. I'm going to push the keys in to get them out. Oh, I missed. Nearly missed that. Your multifunction steering wheel. So this here is your controls for your radio. This is to answer your telephone, etc. And over this side, you've got your um, cruise control. So that turns it on. Plus and minus gives you extra, more and less speed, etc. Um, your horn is in the middle. Yep, that works. So round to the front. That's the last of the wheels. That's all four of them seen. Down the side of the car. Just down here. You can see no dings or dents. That's my favourite bird in the field. It's one of the guinea fowl shouting at us. That's round the front. You can see all in pretty good shape. Back round to this side. It's your last wheel there. So there you have her. She is a 2011 Mini Countryman Cooper S all four manual petrol. And if you'd like to have a look, give us a call.